Hi, we're back in our scratch track. We're going to take a look again at uh, building on or adding to the scratch track we've started here the past couple weeks. And today what I'm trying to do is I want to add a base part. I'm going to do this. I have several options in GarageBand, but the way I'm going to do it is go up here to track. I'm going to add a new track. And then, of course, I have my selection of how I can do the track. And you have everything from a software instrument. Uh, you can actually mic an amplifier if you wanted to do that or plug the uh, plug a bass guitar into your audio interface. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it with a choice of amps and effects is guitar bass. What I'm going to do today is show a MIDI um, capability to do this. So back in GarageBand, I've added a MIDI instrument. The default is classic electric piano, but as you know, I want to play my bass guitar. I'm going to use that instrument for that. So I come over here to my library and I go up here to bass and I pick the bass I'd like to use. And I think for this particular style, I'm going to go with a finger style bass. And you see it changes that right over here. Now I'm done with the library and I'm actually done <clears throat> with any special settings right now. So the next thing I want to do is actually uh, key in the notes for the song I'm going to use. Thank you for joining me today. Wanted to make sure you got a glimpse of this MIDI keyboard I'm using today in today's video. It's the M Audio Keystation Mini 32. You can pick up one of these on Amazon for under $60. Second thing I wanted to tell you about is videos uh, that preceded this week's video. Those links will be in the description of today's video. Number three, I've just finished my first mini course. I'm using a platform called Kajabi. Today, I'm providing for you a link to a free 30-day trial. You can try it out. It'll also be in the video description. And one more thing for you live musicians, you play live, you get to the gig, and oh my goodness, you forgot something. And it's something you need. Well, I've got the perfect solution. I call it the Gig Packup Checklist. And it's totally free to you. That link is in the description as well. Check it out. Let's get back to the video. I wanted to show you that we do have mm -hmm. signal from our MIDI instrument, that little green. Mm -hmm. That's our that's our signal from I'm actually using a little keyboard, but we do have signal in that channel. The other thing I want to do is come up here and change. I just right did a right mouse click and I got configure track header. The other thing I'd like to do in this particular track is check mark record enable. And I'll go ahead and save. So to continue on, we have Signal from our MIDI keyboard. I'm using it to play the bass. So let's go ahead and let's do some recording. The gates and doors are barred, all the windows fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness, rose at every sound. Half in hopeless sorrow, half in fear the day will find the soldiers breaking through and drag us all away. Okay, so there you can see we've recorded our MIDI. Click into this, we find down here a way to correct any errors. Now I noticed I hit some clinkers in here and I'll adjust that. But let me direct you over here to this part of the screen. We're going to go ahead and quantize my playing. I'm going to I've already chosen 1 16th note for the quantize. What that means is anytime the software senses that I am not on the beat, it will adjust it to the closest 16th note. So for our purposes, that means 
everything should line up because I don't have any divisions uh, that are smaller than that. The notes, here we can actually do the um, notes themselves, the MIDI notes. We'll go back to the region and we'll put our quantize, oh, we're going to want that on. <laughs> doesn't want to be on does it there we go first though what we want to do is make sure we select the region so the way we follow all the windows fast you want to make sure okay see how I'm marking all this just my mouse and you hear all those notes now those particular notes okay I wanted them to be quantized the 16th note right now that has happened uh, the region the same thing so we can get down to the note value we can actually turn up the volume through this velocity velocity is volume in the MIDI world it's probably the easiest way to remember that so now if we go back and play a little bit of this the gates and doors are barred all the windows fastened down Night and, sleepless. and here, if you just want to hear the bass part, let's do this. Let's do this. This is maybe an easier way to hear it. Okay, one thing I notice in playing that back, those notes are sound really short, don't they? So again, there's a way to fix that. We go back where they start to appear real short. And here's what we can do. We can drag one of these notes we want to make longer. And it makes everything we've marked longer too. So kind of tedious. Uh, you need you need to be have the patience to get in there and do this. Um, but that's how you correct notes in MIDI. Just showing you this in GarageBand. I'm not going to take the time to do them all, but I just wanted to show you how this worked. That's an easy way to correct mistakes. One more thing I can share with you when you're in this. Uh, region or notes view um, sometimes when you're editing MIDI it can be really hard to get to the notes so I have found if I go over here to this little gray circle and I go like so there's a, it's a zoom feature so it's a whole lot easier work on some of this stuff when you can actually get to it So while we're in here, I thought I would go ahead and let you hear the final uh, product. The gates and doors are barred, all the windows fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness, rooms at every sound. Hopeless sorrow, happy fear the day will find the souls breaking through, drag us all away. So that's what we got for our uh, little result here. We've added just a review, we've added with the MIDI keyboard, we have added a bass part. I went through the MIDI editor and I extended some of the notes, I changed some of the pitches, I beefed up our velocity quite a bit so you can hear it. Now even though I showed you how to use the time quantize in this particular example I turned it off and the reason I turned it off is because I was playing it live with these pre-recorded tracks and sometimes when you do that depending on how skillful you are you may or may not end up always matching the quantization. I did not match the quantization, so I just turned it off. 
and that's what gave us a little bit more consistent sound. 